Welcome back. Legos have been a favorite toy for generations. But how about using them in school? The Howard Swamico School District is taking this approach using Lego robots to help pique kids' interests in math and science. Still moving. The battle bots are trying to get um, the other battle bot out of the the arena. We're using robotics kits that are the RCX kit and the Pico Cricket kit. Um, you try to build it so it can work a little bit and it's more powerful, maybe a little bit bigger. We want them to be creative in their problem solving. What I'm trying to figure out is how to connect like sides here so the balls don't fall down. The, stu the students spend a lot of time collaborating. They also have to be able to do a lot of critical thinking. And since it's going up, it's going backwards because the speed's going too high. When the speed's going too high, it doesn't go to all the tires. It just goes to the back tires. When we talk to employers, that's what they're looking for. They want employees that are able to think and problem solve and work together very well. Trying to put two on two plows on it. Yeah. We focus a lot on 21st century problem solving skills. It's a little bit more, less boring than just reading and doing math and all that other stuff. Doing the Pico Cricket and the robotics, we're hoping that they become interested in these careers and hopefully look into becoming a scientist or an engineer for the future. So we're grateful that the community sees value in this programming because it's just an awesome thing for our kids. Now the kits that you saw in this are no longer supported by LEGO, so replacing the parts is kind of impossible for them. Oh. Um, but Meadowbrook recently approved a grant, so they have a newer version of these LEGO robots. Oh, sweet. And then the other schools across the district are seeking money to do the same, because okay. what a neat way to learn. Those yeah. kids were like, I don't like math and science. They didn't even know they were working on it half I, the time. It's incredible when you get something fun like that, hands-on, in a and workshop to they do. They were programming the robots with the computers, like oh. stuff beyond... What I would, yeah. Like, there you go. Be a programmer. We need a lot of those right, right now. <laughs> Very much so. Engineers, all that, that good stuff. All right.